What's good with y'all? Man, this is another uploading episode with your boy, and I'm about to get it in. So check it real quick. I got this crazy, 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 crazy testimony. Alright? It'll probably make you scared. It'll probably make you nervous. It'll probably make you go cuckoo. But it's all good. But listen up. Listen, listen here, listen here, listen here. So, in high school, when I got saved, my youth pastor, long story short, was he was on Periscope at the time a couple years ago, and he was bringing up to the people that were in the chat about me when I got onto the video, and he was like, yo, Jordan used to do this and do that, and he was saying, hey, man, this dude would want to go door to door and preach the gospel and yada, yada, yada. And then my mom, you, you know, was, was tripping and hit him up and was saying, you know, I don't want him to go. I don't want him to do that. He's tripping. Why would he want to go to the neighborhood to share the gospel? He's off that. So at the time I was, at, at the time when I was listening to this, I was like, dude, I don't remember none of this stuff. And it's funny because that was God revealing to me that he wanted me to do that particular thing. And so I didn't do it, but later on, I began to see God reveal that to me more and more and more. Uh, just going to the apartment complexes that I was at at the time playing basketball at the college that I was at, and God told me to go door to door. So at first I was like, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to go about it. I'm rattled. I'm scared. So at this time, I kind of just waited a little bit. I went to a conference, and this was the first conference I've ever been to, someone invited me to go, and I went to the conference, and I was just totally convicted. I thought about what God told me to do. So I went back to my apartment complex, and I went to every single door, and I had a church card, and I wrote my number on the church card. Now, I, at that particular time, I had no idea what to say or what to do, so that was the thing that I did. I said, God, I'm just doing this. This is the best that I can do. And so, at the time, I just went door to door and I just gave out the cards. Um, but now, after realizing and being to different churches, it seems like it's the norm, that it's the main goal, is to invite someone to church. My dear friends, why in the world do we think that if we invite someone on Tuesday, they're going to even make it on that Sunday morning or Saturday service, whatever service you have, what, what makes us think? that they're going to have a chance to get to that place, to have that day, to go to church. And we've, we've, we've made it to be our, our, our end goal, our, our, our aim to do. And so when I think about it, I, I think about it in terms of Scripture. Now, Jesus didn't walk around saying, hey, everybody come to the synagogue and hear Peter and watch his fancy clothes and the amazing glasses he's wearing. He didn't, no, 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 no. It, it, it wasn't like that. It, 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 the, the disciples didn't go out into the streets and said, hey, everybody come to the synagogue and hear a sermon by Jesus. It's going to be amazing. It never went down like that. And so uh, we, we, we as a church or different churches, I would say, has made this to be the norm of getting butts in the seats is what I call it. And so what I'm saying is at that particular time, I had no idea what was going on and this is what I was doing so I just invited and so through that invitation though the couple that was living together at the time when they got married a few years later they got married a few years later they began to you know um, they got saved they eventually began to follow the Lord and I didn't know this till years later getting involved in an internship in the same city that I went to school in years later. And so it was, it was an amazing opportunity, an amazing time to see um, what God did in them through that period of time. And now they're married, they have a beautiful kid, and they're following the Lord, and we're very close to this day. And so my encouragement um, uh, is, 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 is go door to door especially if you're an evangelist go door to door and and of course if you're a believer go ahead do it as well we're all called to evangelize in some type of way um, but but that is that is my heart is, is us to share the gospel of Jesus Christ is to make Jesus famous 
in our homes, our neighborhoods, our, 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 our communities, our cities, our region, and nations. And so that is, that is my heart cry for that, um, that we would do that. Uh, so I encourage you to do that. And, and, and sometimes you, 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 know, you go alone. There's times where I've gone alone. But if you have access, if you have people at your church that are willing to gather with you and come with you and do it together, it'll be an amazing time. It'll be fun. You'll see what God will do in someone's life. My friend, there, my friend, there, there, there are people in these homes, in these apartments that are hurting. Some people cut themselves. Some people drink alcohol until they, they, they can't even comprehend the alphabet. So some, some people are on drugs to the point where they're almost going to commit suicide by those drugs because of an overdose. My friend, there are hurting people and they're headed to an eternal hell. And I know that, that that isn't popular, but I'm not in it for what's popular. What I'm in it for is for lost souls to come to the full knowledge of Jesus Christ only through the light of the gospel. Because every mind, every person on this planet, your neighbors, they have a veil. There, there, there's, the, there's this thing over their mind blinding them. And it's only a device by Satan himself. And it's only by the light of the gospel that can shine in their minds to break that off and God opens their eyes and so this is a laborious work this is only through prayer only through reading and studying to go about this work upon lost souls and so my encouragement is you're not an evangelist but we're all called to evangelize now I'm not saying God has called you to do this go door to door he might tell you but at the same time try it go to go door to door go with someone uh, if you're an evangelist Try it. Go door to door. Um, bring other people with you. If not, go alone. Be bold. And so my heart is also as well, um, from these past times of going door to door, I remember this, though. This is what I wanted to do, is be as transparent. Uh, you know, the society that we live in, uh, you know, Instagram, I call it fake gram, where we put up a facade. We put up a fantasy as if we're, you know, this person that we're really not. And so for me... Um, I was in fear uh, two, two years ago, God told me to go door to door, and I remember sitting on my bed in fear, and I just fell asleep and then woke up the next day, or, the, or, or a few hours later where it was late at night and it was too late to go door to door. But I remember I just said, eventually I said, you know what, I'm going to pull up my, 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 my bootstraps, and I'm going to man up, and I'm going to go and do this thing. And so I did. Um, I didn't go through the whole apartment, or not the apartment, the neighborhood that I was living in at the time. I wanted to go door, at every door. But, you, you know, God opened up this opportunity and this time where I can, uh, to do that, to, 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 to go door to door and to talk to people. It's funny, but it's, uh, it's also a shame that, 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 that Mormons are, 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 are thought of when a Christian is present as a disciple is present upon someone's home, knocking on their door. Most people, if not all, thought I was a Jehovah Witness or a Mormon. And we're living in a time where we have been silent, but it's time that we break the silence, and that we break the silence through um, prayer, through our closet to ask God to break our hearts, to go to a generation, to go to a neighborhood, to go to a co-worker and share our faith. Now I'm, bur I'm burdened upon this for people, for lost people, and my heart is only for that. I'm not in it for attention or fame or any of that. Any of that. And so we, we, we must grab a hold of this and, and, and grip this and allow God to grip our hearts according to this. So that's my encouragement of going door to door. I'm also going to provide tips and different things like that um, as another video. Please share, subscribe, comment, dislike, whatever you want to do. Follow me on social media as well if you choose to do that. Um, really uh, have this to, 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 to share. If you, if you watch it, it's, it's built you up in some type of way. Please share with other people or maybe it's another evangelist that needs to be encouraged. I really want to go after obviously all believers but specifically for evangelists as well uh, to um, really go after this thing of the gospel. Uh, revival is coming and uh, be encouraged.
Shalom.